your first back-to-back -back since coming to Brooklyn. How did you feel? Well, I felt all right. I mean, obviously not uh, the outcome we wanted, but physically felt all right. And then secondly, just kind of big picture with all of these injuries with you said when you first got here, you needed a couple of games under your belt before you were able to really see what role was needed for you. Do you think that's become more clear and has it changed since all these injuries and lineup shuffles have have occurred? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely changing as as the as you know, we, we have different lineups out there. Um, but I think I think I'd still know my, you know, you still know your overall role when everything's when we're at full strength. Um, it's just, you know, game to game right now. You have to kind of do different things when different guys are out. Um, so it's not really an issue um, that happens uh, part of basketball. So um, it'll just be nice to, you know, get everybody healthy and, you know, see what uh, see what our, our, our full team looks like. Sorry to jump down on this, but when you say you know overall what your role is, if you were to sum that up, what what is it shaken out to be? Um, I mean, you know, playing some small ball five, playing some four, um, switching on a lot of stuff, um, you know, taking advantage of mismatches, um, being in the short role, and when they're they're double teaming guys, um, facilitating uh, a little bit of everything. Stefan Bondi with New York Daily News. Hey, Blake, I know you haven't been here uh, for very long, but the, the team is much better on the home, at least record-wise, better at home and on the road. With that being said, is the number one seed important um, for this team? I mean, anytime I think you can, you know, lock up a number one seed, I think it's a it's a good thing. It's not out of our reach. Um, that it's not the end-all, be-all either. Um, so um, we're going to be smart. You know, we're not going to – we're not going to – you know, force guys to play and, and um, play injured. Uh, we want to be healthy for the for the playoffs. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's the goal, but, you know, there's bigger goals along with that as well. Alex Schiffer, The Athletic. Hey, Blake, I got a two-parter for you. Just, you played with Bruce in Detroit. What have you thought of him this year as this, you know, six-foot-four guard playing, at, you know, down low as, as, as like a hybrid big of sorts and, and holding his own down there? Six four, huh? Um, I think that's what he's listed at. No, I know, I know. Yeah, I always give him, I always give him a hard time about that. Um, I mean, he's like, he's like the ultimate, like jackknife, you know, like or Swiss Swiss Army knife. Like he just, he just can fit in so many different situations. Um, and and um, you know, tonight knocked down some threes and and had what, thirteen boards. Um, I just love the like the, the energy and, and the way he, he plays. Uh, he brings like a certain aggressiveness, you know, to our team that I think is very important. Uh, but he's done a great job developing his game, but also fitting in, you know, and doing the little things. So you, you kind of touch on this, but just based on how he how he was used in Detroit, I mean, could you kind of see this coming just based on as you said? I mean, he, I guess the adaptability that that led you to think he, he could fit in a role like that. Um. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, he, he did, he was doing stuff, you know, similar to that for us, you know, he was locking down, um, you know, he was always guarding our, our opponent's best, best guard, um, you know, he was rebounding the ball at a high level, uh, finishing, uh, you know, and he, he was continually working on his shot. So, um, yeah, you could see, you could see the writing on the wall for sure. Greg Logan, Newsday. Blake, uh, looking ahead a little bit, you've got two tough home games against uh, the Celtics and then the Suns. Uh, do you look at games against teams like that, high-profile teams, as any kind of measuring stick? Or are you guys at a point in the season where, where basically you're just trying to hold it together, get healthy, and get to the playoffs in one piece? I mean, you always want to come out and, and, and compete um, and, and play well against those teams. Um, but, you know, for instance, like when we played Philly and we, you know, I think Kyrie, Kyrie and Joe are really our only starters um, out there. Um, I, I thought I thought that was a great game because we, you know, we came out and competed uh, no matter who was on the floor. So um, I think you can get something out of any of, any of these games uh, without just having your full team or, um, you know, without walking away with a victory. But obviously we're going in to, to win, win both these games. Last question, Simone Sandri, La Gazette de la Sport. Yeah, um, you uh, you were forced to play a different position because of the injuries, and you obviously had a, had a great impact on uh, on the team so far. You, you kind of answer early, but do you expect to get most of your minutes at the five when everybody gets back? 
to be honest, I haven't put a lot of thought into it. Um, you know, kind of take them, take them wherever, wherever they come, to be honest. Uh, doesn't change a whole lot of what you do on the court, maybe roll a little bit more, but, um, you know, I'm just, I just want to be prepared when, when my number is called.